Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about significant American history. We're going to be talking about the year of 2001 um, and how um, significant it was in American history. Now, before I go into the summary and explanation of this year, um, the, the significant events that took place within it, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So, um, the most important thing or the most significant thing that took place during um, the year of 2001 is, of course, in American history was um, the 9-11 attacks. Um, those were, you know, that was very significant. You had four planes. Two of the planes uh, belonged to American Airlines. There were two American Airlines planes and there were two United, Air, um, United Airlines planes. They were hijacked. Uh, you had two planes that hit the Twin Towers in, in lower Manhattan in New York. You had another plane that hit the Pentagon and another plane that crashed into a field. Um, so that was the most significant event uh, within 2001 in American history, um, in America. Um, we have to say that um, this started a series of events um, that led to the war in Afghanistan, um, that led to the war against um, terror, um, that, you know, America had to uh, go into Afghanistan and protect itself and, you know, um, uh, when it, that later goes into the war in Iraq, you know, going after weapons of mass destruction, Saddam Hussein, going after Al Qaeda, um, going after the Taliban. Um, this all began with 9-11. If 9-11 didn't happen, all of that wouldn't have happened. That's what this makes this year so significant because it pretty much um, pulled America into a conflict that literally has lasted over 20 years. The war in terror has lasted since 2001. Uh, and we can say even to this day, um, it's still going on, the war on terror, because um, in 2001, you had the war on terror starting, you had the Patriot Act being enacted, uh, which, you know, the Patriot Act, it's, it's, a, it's an act that allows um, certain um, U.S., um, you know, government uh, organizations um, to go after terrorists. Um, it, it kind of like loosens the cuffs on the guardrails on what certain U.S. groups can do. Some people, some civil rights groups have said that the Patriot Act violates um, rights, uh, but the, the ultimate um, intention of the Patriot Act, um, it's to give certain U.S. government branches the ability to go after um, terrorists or people that, that pretty much want to threaten America. Um, because when you're talking about um, search and seizures, when you're talking about how long you can um, hold someone um, in jail or in prison to, to question them, to figure out their motives, the Patriot Act gives um, certain bodies, or certain federal organizations, um, the ability to hold the terrorists, to interrogate them, to, to um, go after their private communication. So some civil rights groups have said that the Patriot Act um, gives certain um, you, know, you know, when we're talking about Homeland Security, the FBI, uh, when we're talking about, you know, uh, investigation groups within the U.S. that have the power to go after certain people, uh, it gives them some more liberty. So civil rights groups have said that, uh, well, this violates the rights of people. Um, but when it comes in the face of terror, when it comes in the face of something like 9-11 happened again, um, you know, that's, that's why that act was passed. That's why the war in terror began is because... The Americans don't want another 9-11. They don't want the Pentagon being attacked again. Um, so, you know, the year of 2001 is very significant for the, for these reasons. Uh, yes, the, the Patriot Act, you know, it, it does, uh, you know, loosen the cuffs off some um, branches of the government um, to go after terrorists, to go after people who are not citizens of the United States. Uh, but it's because of the, the, the horrific things, the horrific events that happened in 9-11, and specifically the Twin Towers and the Pentagon and, and the, the plane that crashed in the field. So um, that for after 9-11, after September of, of 2001, I mean, that the rest of the year was just fixed on terror. It was fixed on terror. And for, the, for that decade, it was all about terror. The war in Afghanistan, the Iraq war, the war in Iraq, the conflict in Iraq, you know, all of that is because of 2001. So really, uh, 2001 really sets the tone, really sets the mood for, for the decade of, of the 2000s. Um, you know, this, this, this is one of the years that really kicks off. And that's what makes this year a significant moment, a significant period in American history. It's the thing that, you know, everybody will remember uh, of that year. 
Um, you have um, um, George W. Bush's uh, um, inauguration. He becomes president. Um, you know, you had um, different other events that were significant, but everybody remembers that year because of what it started, the War on Terror, the Patriot Act. Uh, you had some other sig significant things such as uh, the No Child Left Behind Act that was also passed within that year, and that pretty much started the standardized tests in America. Um, that's another significant thing that, you know, American um, students, well, I wouldn't say pretty much don't like because, well, that's that kicks off standardized tests because in 2001, um, it came to, well, to recognition that well, American schools were failing. Uh, a lot of American students were failing, and America was f falling behind. Of all, a lot of international countries was falling behind, and the 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 you know No Child Left Behind Act was pretty much to target and to make schools responsible, to make um, districts responsible for you know um, American students failing. Um, you know that act was didn't last that long. Um, it pretty much, well, it doesn't exist anymore. Now we have the Every Student Succeeds Act. That, um, that is a new act in replacement of the No Child Left Behind Act. Um, so that was another thing that um, the year of 2001 significant for, uh, because um, the No Child Left Behind Act pretty much uh, issued a bunch of standardized tests for all over the country um, to measure and to find a way to make American students keep up with um, other students in the rest of the world. But um, we can say that the status of American education, um, it's still not where it's supposed to be. That's what we can say about that. Um, but, but yeah, the, that year, um, the year of 2001, those are the, some significant events that happened within it. Um, most notably, it is 9-11. Um, the, the war on terror begins. The Patriot Act is enacted. Uh, the No Child's but Left Behind Act, the inauguration of, of um, President um, George W. Bush. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So those are the things that to think about. That's what makes that year so significant in American history. It sets the tone uh, for, um, well, the century, really, or the beginning of the century, because, you know, even still today, the war on terror is still not over. Um, in terms of deeper meaning, um, this year really made Americans feel that they, they weren't invincible. You know, in America, now we know that the war on terror, uh, it's, not, it's not invisible. You know, if, if we can be attacked at home, well, then, you know, the, the comfort of knowing that, you know, you're, you have the sea, the oceans uh, protecting you from terrorism, that notion is pretty much gone now uh, because, you know, over, over 3,000 people died during 9-11. Over 3,000 Americans died um, during 9-11. And moreover, think about it, American Airlines, United Airlines, these are um, airlines that Americans use every day to move around the world and to move around the country. You know, I've been in an American Airlines flight, and many Americans have flown American Airlines or United Airlines. It's a very well-known, uh, you know, American form of transportation, those two airlines are, and that, you know, a lot of Americans use them. And for, in the Twin Towers, a lot of Americans have been where the Twin Towers are. A lot of Americans, you know, it was a significant place in New York that Americans went to. The Pentagon, um... So these are things that Americans use every single day, and for the first time in history, Americans, the things, the the the, the mode of transportation, the the building that you probably probably have went to, it all came down, and that sense of security, that sense of that that sense of protection that American had, it was gone during that day, and for the for the first five years of of the twenty first century, Americans were afraid, and. Um, you know, it changed America. 2001 really changed America. You know, now you have the TSA. Uh, if you're going somewhere that involves a flight, you know, you have to uh, be processed and scanned and um, you have to be, um, you know, go through a metal detector and everything. Before that, before 9-11, this wasn't a thing. So it changed American life and American culture and also made Americans start thinking about the you know, the relationship of America with other countries in the Middle East. And it started many wars uh, and conflicts that still to this day, America is still a part of. So the war on terror is not over. The Patriot Act, the Patriot Act still exists. Uh, and um, it's, still, it's still something that Americans are, you know, think about to this day. Uh, and the war on terror hasn't gone away. It's still, this war is still ongoing. Um, so that's 2001. That's what's significant about this year. That's what, what, that's what made this year iconic in American history. 
Uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.